So today's video will focus on three separate chunks of information, one around the console reveal, one around the new PS5 games recently confirmed slash rumored, and one around the release date issues and the latest information on that. First though, let me know in the comments if you think the PS5 will be all black or all white or two-tone similar to the controller. A lot of people have been taking guesses at this, so I'm curious where you guys stand. So comment below. If you think the PS5 will be all black, all white, or two-toned, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Now, diving into the first story, the new set of confirmed and rumored PS5 games. Let's cover the rumored games and move over to the confirmed. So the latest set of rumored PS5 games includes one Resident Evil 8. And just a side note, I'll have all of these games linked in the description below if you want more information on any of them. But getting back to Resident Evil 8, Honestly, considering that the game hasn't even been announced yet, I think it was a safe bet that this was going to be a PS5 game. The interesting part, though, is that the rumor states that this will be a PS4 slash PS5 game and will come out in early 2021. I personally enjoyed Resident Evil 7, so I'm looking forward to this one if it comes out in early 2021. Now, the second game that was rumored was Cyberpunk 2077. Now, this game has already been confirmed for the Xbox Series X, but there isn't a release date yet for the next-gen version, but when it comes out, thanks to Microsoft's smart delivery system, Xbox Series X players who purchase the game on Xbox One will get it for free. The latest news from the developer CD Projekt Red seems to be that they can't confirm the PS5 version of the game because, and I'm quoting this part here, there's no announcement coming from PlayStation, so we can't really confirm or deny anything. It's PlayStation that has to address these issues, and then we're happy to make a comment, but we cannot jump the gun ahead of them. My understanding on this is that the developer doesn't know what Sony's cross-gen policies are, like if there is a cross by approach since they haven't revealed the console and all of its features yet so they can't comment on the ps5 version but from the sounds of it they have something for the ps5 but again we'll have to wait until sony talks before getting more information and the third rumored game is dead island 2 i'll say this dead island 2 has been in development limbo for so long it could very well be a ps6 title honestly but the latest word is that the developer dan Buster Studios posted a job listing looking for an art director. The following blurb from the description of the job indicates that this could be a cross-gen game. It states, this is a fantastic opportunity for you to further your career by leading the art direction on a groundbreaking title for current and future platforms. So again, we'll see if this game ever sees daylight, but for now it seems they're targeting both current and next-gen consoles as well. Now, switching gears over to the confirmed games, there's two recently confirmed games for the PlayStation 5. One, Observer System Redux, which is a remaster of sorts of the Observer game on PS4, which is a horror game. It was recently teased by the developer with a trailer pointing to a next-gen reveal coming soon, so I'll be looking out for that. And the second confirmed game is Microman, which honestly doesn't look next gen at all, but sure. The game is described by the developer as a combination of action, adventure, and survival, and will be coming out in 2021. Now, moving into the second story of the video, the PS5 console reveal. This is something I wanted to cover earlier this week, but I'll cover it here. When Sony revealed the DualSense controller, I'm so tempted to say DualShock. I'm so tempted. It's so hard sometimes. <laughs> but the DualSense controller, Sony Interactive Entertainment CEO Jim Ryan stated the following. We look forward to sharing more information about PS5, including the console design in the coming months. So Mark Cerny already spoke about a teardown coming for the console and we spoke about how IGN has their summer of games event in early June but Sony is not a part of it possibly hinting at their own event. Sony also wasn't going to attend E3 anyway so they have to have had an event planned for around E3 time which leads to this Jim Ryan comment which possibly hints to a June full reveal of the console. Sony and Microsoft are pretty much just trying to 
to outdo one another at this point. Microsoft will be holding their all digital event, which will be what would have been their E3 Xbox Series X reveal. So I'm sure Sony wants to counter that reveal and going by history, they'll probably do it after Microsoft does their event. Microsoft hasn't given us a time and date, but if this was meant to be for E3, then it seems likely that we'll see their all digital event in June, meaning Sony could also be holding something then as well. And finally, I just wanted to add a little update on possible issues with the release date of the PS5 as I have been doing across several videos now. The latest update comes in the form of news that China has lifted all lockdowns in their country, the latest one being Wuhan, the epicenter of this whole CV scenario. This is a positive sign from my understanding to full production ramping up this summer for next-gen consoles, but we'll have to of course wait and see how lockdowns being removed affects the country in the coming weeks. But you guys let me know your thoughts regarding the reveal of the PlayStation 5. Do you think it's coming this June, this full reveal? Do you think the teardown could be coming earlier before that, like Microsoft, maybe in May? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. As it always helps, and subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now, I'll check you guys out on the next one. And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do is to body, you obliterate, destroy, and overall harass the comments section with next gen summer because it seems like this summer, Sony and Microsoft are really going to duke it out for next gen you know, titles, whatever it may be. It's going to be a real duke out this summer, and I'm excited for it. And if you are excited for it, destroy the comment section with Next Gen Summer. And I'll definitely heart those comments like I always do because I appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my videos. And now, I'll check you guys out on the next one.